momentum, right? But he's going to need to be at 1,000 miles per hour eastward velocity, tangential velocity, by the time he gets to the equator. You're saying that him staying on the path gives him more eastward velocity? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't matter if the path, the path could be whatever path. That doesn't give him more of the eastward tangential velocity he needs to make it seem as though he's landing on a stationary runway when he hits the, the, the equator, bro. You can't conflate the path or the crosswinds with this whole idea of the earth moving as opposed to it not moving. The only way that it lands on a stationary runway when it gets to the equator is because the earth didn't move, bro. Now you're talking to somebody, I'm sure, right? You got another conversation that's important? I have to go in a minute, yeah. So, yeah, sure uh, anybody, yeah, yeah, trust me, dude. Good yeah, buddy. trust you. Uh, you're, trust you. You're a friend Come of mine. On. Yeah, well, yeah, dude, no, you don't trust, trust you that that's buddies, staying on the path gives listen, an eastward momentum. You're my, listen, listen, you're my buddy, but this is more aggravating than most other countries. I'm sure like, it is. You're, not if you're, you're trying not to believe that not, it makes no difference. Not listening. You're not listening. You're not trying to listen. And that, dude, that makes it, you're tells, saying that, that staying me, on the path gives him more eastward momentum. No, no, dude, that's not what anyone's saying. The, are you, you saying? Are you saying he wouldn't need more eastward momentum by the time he got to the equator? Listen, dude, I'm going to give you a different scenario, and you're just going to have to not. Why is it that you can't just finish, answer just listen, my just direct question? Just listen, just listen, dude, because you're not understanding anything, <laughs> uh, anything about what's being said. You're, you're saying just, I don't understand. Dude, dude, no, 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 don't tell me. I'm don't just tell repeating me what's what you said no, back to me. And you're saying I don't understand. How can I be not understanding if I'm repeating exactly what you said? Let's stop. You're not. That's the problem. Is that you're not doing that. So I have to give you another scenario. So pay attention. So just stop. Just stop. Stop. Okay. It's the last thing I'm going to say before I have to go. I'm sure you, you want to get instead, out of here. With you're one instead, last just, just stop, dude. Just stop, dude. Please, please. I know. I feel abusive right now. Yeah, really but it, it takes so much. It takes so much longer when you do this, and it already takes long enough because it's just very simple. It's, it's not a listen. matter of me understanding. Just, okay, I'm going to be just, mad just, if okay. you make it. If you it make it, doesn't matter. I don't understand something, dude. Just, just okay. I'm going to say something. Quit talking for a second, dude. Or you're wasting my time. Like I. I got to go in a second. Okay, I'm All just right. trying to tell you something. Okay, you're in the Great Lakes on a jet ski. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And there's buoys on either side of fucking the jet ski. It's a straight mm -hmm. line to the other side of the lake to Chicago. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're all you're doing is you're on the jet ski and you're told to go and follow that path straight there. Okay. But there's a super strong wind uh, okay. happening to, uh, uh, perpendicular to your path. It's causing you to go sideways at fucking 100 miles per hour wind. It's fairly strong, okay? Uh, and you're driving on the jet ski in that path. So what's going to happen is even though your engines are going towards Chicago, the wind's pushing you sideways, but you're meant to be on that path. And so you decide to take it upon yourself to veer towards that path and stay on it. It's going to take an effort. It's going to take energy, but it's also going to be uh, – clear where the path is you're not gonna have to worry about something specific about the wind all you gotta worry about is uh guiding your uh jet ski so that it stays on that path it just takes effort on your part it's not the path itself that's making you uh uh speed up towards it it's you uh you know staying in that trajectory it's you staying on that path on that route that's it it's just course correction is is going to correct your uh your, this is how you, I, I guess, you know what it is? I think that's because you have to think it works this way, that it's the same as being in jet skis as being in the air, right? That you, these are things that like you must have to convince yourself are the same so that you can not worry about the total contradiction of the earth moving as opposed to it not moving, right? And how different it would be when you try to land a plane on a, on a tangential velocity that doesn't match your original conserved momentum. And then you're saying staying on the path somehow gives you that additional velocity that you would need. And then somehow the jet skis make it make sense for you so that you can still believe that you're on a spinning ball. Is that it? Is it all of these different like I, scenarios that you have worked out in your head so that you can just be in denial about the idea that it would be totally different? The, the reality of it would be totally different than that, Kosho, buddy. Honestly. You're not you're not being honest with yourself or or you're not being honest with me, one or the other. Thank you, Kosh, you Kosh. What's up, Gadrick? Hey, what's up, player? How are you? What's he up, said he, he thinks I got you, Kosho. Oh uh, well of course Gadrick thinks that. You know, you know it's very you know, people tell me sometimes I'm patient 
and it's times like this that I have to agree with him because I want to say horrible things, but I I don't really <laughs> I don't really I don't I don't can't say anything I don't, horrible. Go ahead. I, well, I've had no, it. I mean, I, what is a no, horrible I, thing I, that I don't understand? I, I, that's not horrible because no, it's no, wrong. No, no, it's no, just no. like a total mischaracterization no, no, of the situation. It's not that. Don't hold it. Um, let me let me do, let me just do this. let me ask you. When you said that uh, it's totally different, why don't you just tell me well, how is it different? Well, What's the Earth the is moving as opposed to not moving. Okay, and that and in this analogy, the wind is uh, is creating oh. that uh, that that apparent movement. So no, the wind doesn't make sense. the Earth move. Yeah, I know it doesn't make the Earth move, but it's giving no. you the impression that there's something moving you in reference to the water, and it's the wind. Right. In the case and of Coriolis. Just because the plane can get moved by the wind, and because the Earth could be seen as moving in, as a, a, in relation to the plane, doesn't, doesn't mean that it's the same as the Earth moving 15 degrees consistently in one direction. That's not the same thing. Yeah, but, bo but both effects are going to treat the jet ski or the plane the same way. They're going nope. to give you the same impression on the plane. Nope. They're both gonna. They're both gonna cause the plane no. to be uh, not following that that Are route. You seriously, you, know, you think that? Do you really think that? If so if you're saying that because the wind is is moving a plane, right? And and the wind moving a plane while it's trying to land on the Earth, right? That'd be a bit difficult, right? So it has to like sturdy itself out to make sure it hits the runway straight. Now you're saying that that wind moving a plane would be just as much, it's just the same as the Earth moving itself, just exactly the same thing. Is that what you're saying? No, but the Earth it's moving a lot, it's a lot degrees less. in one direction would be just doesn't matter about the less or more. I'm saying the Earth moving fifteen right? degrees the plane never has to land. Never the, the plane never has to worry about the Earth moving below it. Fifteen degrees, it fifteen station. degrees an hour. You mean right? Not just yeah, fifteen, 15 degrees, degrees an hour. How, yeah. So how 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 much does it move in one minute? We, 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 we've gone through the math. 25, the 25, math right 25 percent. So 15 arcs, 15 arc minutes. Regardless, dude, the Earth moving. doesn't move is the uh, problem. Earth, 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 if the Earth were moving, the plane would have to worry about the Earth moving. If you don't get that, you it's, really it's don't important. get that. Uh, hold, hold on, dude. It's important because what you're trying to, uh, you're trying to say like it's an extreme difference when the only yeah. difference is going to be moment, moment by moment. The moment to moment um, differences of your, of your flight is going to be what you notice. So the speeds as it changes moment what? to moment. Yeah, what about the not, moment when it hits the runway? What about that moment? Yeah, when that's going to be matter, yeah, then? The, yeah, that the difference. What's going to experience? Yeah. The Earth Don't ask me a question and continue to talk, man. Don't ask me a question to continue to talk. Okay. What about it's the moment when it hits the runway? Would it matter? I know. I know. I heard moving? the question. I heard the question. I began answering. Uh, yeah. Yes. So moment to moment, the only thing that you would expect to experience is what was its speed? What was the difference? In the tangential speed before it landed and as it landed so this moment to moment it's not what was the speed an hour before it landed and then when it landed that it's got plenty of time to uh, make uh, corrections for whatever's whatever that difference is so you're only looking at the moment to moment change and it's oh, not very much moment to okay moment. let me ask you this let me let me put it this way okay you know that there's these great like awesome jets like the f1 uh f35b right where it can fly a thousand miles an hour it can stop in midair and have 40,000 pounds of thrust resistance and just like uh, work like a helicopter, just take off and, you know, straight up in the air. And it can go all over the place, go in and out of the jet stream, right? Say a pilot was, was just trying to get out of sync with the earth, right? Would, it, would a pilot be able to do that so it could then be like over the equator and see the, say the earth moving below it ever? Would that be possible for a pilot to do that? Do what? For the for the pilot to get in one of these badass jets, right, and it only had like you know original conserves. I, 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 I understood all that. Understood that. Right? And it flew all over the place yeah. and went through all these different tangential velocities, and it it was the, its main goal was to get out of sync with the Earth so that it would be hovering in air with its forty thousand pounds of thrust resistance, right, and and it and it would see the Earth moving separately from the jet below it. Would, would, would the pilot ever be able to do that? Yeah, every time planes fly, they do that. But I think what you're suggesting is it be it appear to be stationary, but but uh, floating in the air. But yeah, of well, course, yeah, if the like plane, it, if the plane, if the plane, if the plane travels is moving sideways, yeah. and it would be if able to travels, record the yes. movement of the Earth as it as it it, it stays okay, in yeah, midair. Yeah. Would it be able to do that ever? You got he's gonna he's gonna just go. He's yeah, just gonna fly, leave. Fly one thousand miles an hour eastward. There you go. All right. Then you'd be able to see the Earth moving below it, right? 
So why don't we just do that and then we'll show that the Earth spins. You're flying you're flying a thousand miles an hour east. You're relatively inertial. It means someone from the sun, in the inertial reference terms, looks like you're stationary, yet you see the earth yeah. below you. Then you see the earth below you, right? Spinning at fifteen degrees an hour relative to your motion. Right. Yes. So there you go. Why don't you just do that and show that your earth spins? Well, it happens every time you go a thousand miles an hour in any direction. What would be the difference? How would you know? In well, we would, we would see this, right? We would have lots of recordings of the Earth moving no, consistently in one direction. The sun would not change position. Hold on. The sun would not change position. You'd never see a Talking sun. Talking about from the, from the oh, pilot. Listen to the me. Pilot. The pilot could see it. Move. Ocean. It's so annoying. So you, Why do you have to go to the sun? Why do you have to talk about relativity of the sun's position? The sky, nothing moves, but you see the, ground, the Earth beneath you, rotating underneath you. At uh -huh. thousand miles an hour, you're flying. And the miles pilot miles. would see that. The sun, the sun isn't setting. There's North Star, nothing, but nothing. Why? <laughs> what? Okay, so the pilot would be able to see the Earth moving below it, right? Separately from the plane's movement, right? Yeah. So then go do that and show that the Earth spins. It's never going to happen. Is you wouldn't. Be, the only difference is you would never see the sun would not move in the sky. <laughs> the only difference is there. Sun would not move in the sky. No, talking about the Earth moving, the Earth moving below the plane. The Earth right? is moving. The Earth is moving yeah. beneath you. Yeah. Yeah. The there you go. Show Earth your Earth, Earth spin. But the Earth. Hold on. But the guy flying the plane looks at the sun, not moving. Looks at the moon, it's not moving. Daylight never changes. Never see a sunset again. Never see a sunrise again. Earth spinning underneath you. Yeah, so then show the Earth spinning in this, just getting in a plane, and you're yeah, saying that it just happened. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, high velocity, That's, high speed. really. So then you're saying that the Earth's moving separately from the plane's movement, completely in a separate reference frame. Stop using the word reference frame because you don't know what it means. Uh, I totally know what it means. You Talking don't. About. What does it mean? Go ahead, explain what it means. What that the Earth would be in a separate reference frame of the plane, the, mo the Earth movement would be in a separate reference it? frame of the plane's movement. It? That's what a separate what reference frame. What it's a frame it? of reference. <laughs> what is it? You're talking about it's movement in reference to something else that's moving or no, not moving. Not what it is. What you're talking about. What I'm talking about is you, your inability to explain what a reference frame is. You still don't know what it oh, is. Oh, okay. So you're going to try to make, turn this around and play teacher. Okay. You can't do that, well, Xanax. You guys are, you guys are all, you're, you're saying that the earth moving and not moving is the same when planes fly over it. Do you realize you, you said that, right? You realize that that's what that was recorded. Everyone heard you say that it wouldn't make any difference. I'm doing this for you to help you. No, no, no. You're not going to start helping me. I'm not, I'm not falling into no. your little help, help me trap. I'm going to play teacher and help you understand why the plane flies over a stationary earth just the same as it would a non stationary earth. Totally, t totally the same. You teach me that, Zanuck, why it makes no difference that the earth is moving or not moving when the, and according to, to flights, right? Explain why there's no difference. Teach me that. Okay. Because the motion. Is so very very slight with respect to you. Number one, <laughs> it's so slight, but the same is near the same. There's no need to near the same. Okay, so not the same. Well, it's not the same. No, it's it's it's. Oh, it's, but you said it's the same. You said the Earth that the pilot can just fly as if it's stationary, but then it's not stationary. But it's not the same. It is the same. It's it's close enough. Close enough, like hand grenades and dancing. Dude, you are yeah, because you're hilarious, and I'm pointing out your contradictions, and, and you're trying to play teacher, as if you know something about this that I don't. You don't even know what a reference frame is. I don't know what a reference, frame. What a reference frame is. Uh, look, I asked you which one was. I don't know, know, teacher. Please tell me what a reference frame is. You taught because you are so... No, you oh, yeah. Taught. Okay. A reference frame is a point coordinate system. Uh, That's all it is. Yeah. One can be rotating. One could be inertial, not rotating. Uh -huh. Right. All it is. So and if it's rotating it, or not rotating, it makes no difference. Can you stop talking over me? When you're looking at an airplane that is not seeing the earth, not seeing the sun or the moon, change their position in the sky, that means you're looking at that object, that plane, from an inertial reference frame. That means a point which is not rotating or accelerating. Now, when you're on the airplane or on the ground, 
you can still look at it from there as well. But you can also look at this from a an inertial or a non-inertial frame, and it will look like the airplane is spinning around the Earth, mm -hmm. rotating around the Earth, traveling around yeah. the Earth. So there'd be a difference between the Earth moving and not moving, as far as reference frames are concerned, right? Well, yeah, we can look from an inertial reference frame. It looks like the Earth is moving underneath the airplane. From a non-inertial reference frame, the airplane is moving over the Earth. Mm -hmm. But they're the same. They are the same. Of course they're the same. Oh, not moving and moving are the same as far as traveling in an airplane goes. No, it's reference frame dependent. <laughs> not going to go into that reference frame <laughs> dependent idea. It just You're so fucking funny, dude. We've been over this how many times now, Zanuck? I like the series of like the Coriolis yeah. showdown continues with Zanuck oh, yeah, saying yeah, south yeah. is east. Yeah. Last time we talked, you were saying that it banks south to go east. That's what you said last time we talked about this. It was so, so funny. When you're, when you're traveling south, the road, the earth will rotate underneath you. So what <laughs> right. you have to right. do. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. That's my point. <laughs> all you have to do to gather that tangential velocity, that tangential, that momentum, uh -huh. momentum by having a yeah. tangential velocity in an area that is higher than you departed, you would yeah. have to impart momentum into the air along the way. And that's exactly what you do. By right. By banking east, right? Yeah. Right. So then why aren't pilots trained to bank east? Because you would have well, to you just said, do you that. Naturally by following. Oh, it happens naturally. But you don't have to do Those anything. Why are you saying he has to do it? If he doesn't have to do it. You don't, you don't follow the path to the, where your destination is. Oh, so he would be trained to do that. No. They're trained no. to follow paths. Nothing else. Just follow paths. <laughs> what if he goes west-southwest? You're, you're deranged. You are absolutely deranged. If he goes west-southwest, how does he bank east? Follows the path. Follows the path, right? He's making control. Of his <laughs> you got real brain. quiet there, Zanuck. Yeah. yeah, so if he's going west and south, right? How's he banking east? Ignorance is bliss, and you must be the happiest clam. Yeah, I'm so ignorant that I, can't, I have a question you can't answer, but I'm the ignorant I one, answer right? I the question. You're just not accepting oh, yeah? So how does he bank east if he's going west and south, bro? He's following the path because of the Earth's rotation. Follows the path, right? Now you're not saying bank east anymore, are you? What if he spins well, in a circle? I'm trying to give it to you in simple terms. <laughs> well, because I, have, I need simple terms because you can't answer a simple question. It is a simple question, and I'm giving you simple answers. Right. So if he banks east when he goes banks, south yes, to get banks. to catch up to this new tangential velocity that would be imperative for him to do, otherwise he would be out of sync with the Earth. Bank, so bank, the banking east bank, would be imperative for a pilot to be east, trained to do. Bank, no, he's just trained to follow a path. Bank, but what if he goes west-southwest? No, he just bank, has to follow a path. You bank east. You go back. How does he bank east if he goes west and south, bro? You still you turn, the, turn the yoke to the left. And you bank. Oh, left. What's so left if you're going west and south? How do you? Why are you saying left all of a sudden? As if that has some kind of because like reference we can all know left about. Is east. Left, left is east. Left is east, east when you're flying west, southwest. You're west, you start take. If you take any, if you're going uh, west, oh, left is east. South, if you fly south or east, going west, you will end up east. Oh, so you're saying banking south makes him go more eastward Correct. faster. So Correct. he would gain 500 miles per hour directly eastward by well, banking that's, south. That's, that's the problem we're running into. I'm trying to talk in terms you understand, which is east and west. Oh, it's not about me understanding. Left. We all, all know this by now. Banking you left. want to make it that I don't understand. Banking again, left gives you okay. the tangential velocity you need. Left. Banking is more difficult than it has to be. Oh, left is very difficult to know what left means, isn't it? When you're just like west, southwest, right? How do you know what left is? It doesn't matter what the direction is because you have Coriolis. <laughs> left. It's a higher tangential velocity. All we're trying to do is get left. A circle, right? Coriolis, right. <laughs> left. Just go left. In a circle you, above the – which way does the globe spin underneath us? We Coriolis stay where we're at. deflects to the right. Circle. All you have to do is deflect to the left. Well, well, I, I, I think these pilots are in trouble if you're their trainer, man. Just go left. Shut up. Hey, it's <laughs> take a left. <laughs> pilots in here. And magnitude. Go left. The direction is to the right. What? Right. South is east, right? Right, Zanuck? South is east. You bank. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> if you take a, if you, take a, if you go left, you are counteracting 
the Coriolis force, no matter which direction you're going. I don't there you go. Where the hell right. here? If you're yeah, going left. you bang left, you counteract the Coriolis force, which is right. There you go. Don't worry. Just don't worry. Go up there. Just go left. You'll be all right. Don't worry. If you get there, and the ground's going faster than the plane, then just go more left. It's fine. You're unable, you're unable to grasp it. It's, it's okay. Mm, yeah, I am. Able, I'm, a, I'm able to grasp this. Yeah, it's pretty hard to grasp. To learn because you can't. <laughs> all you do is talk. So I'm going to bow out because I don't like talking. Yeah, to your you have to run away always. Okay. It's nice to hear your left no. is south and south is east. Away. You're thing again. Period. Come on. You so sound ridiculous every time we go through this, Zanuck, and you act like I'm the one that doesn't understand at the end of it and then run away. It's so hilarious. It's just so predictable. And if you go up in a hot air balloon and just spin your hot air balloon where it's at and just stay right there, what's the, what's the world do? When you got your camera on the bottom and it's just spinning in one spot, rotating, staring at the earth, does your earth move anywhere? I'll guarantee you a billion to one it doesn't. <laughs>